I am so excited that this is finally available. If, you, if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to tell you all about it right now. This is the new decal trimmer uh, that I did with Tonic Studios. Now, I will tell you, you know, a lot of times people ask, like, how long does it take for an idea to actually make it to the market? And there's no, really, there's no set schedule, if I'm being honest. There's no set schedule for product. But this one in particular, I do know. Uh, we started this project in 2017. 2017 is the first time I pitched this idea to Tonic. Um, I actually had a vintage deco cutter. It's very small. It was for photographs. And I showed it to them and I'm like, it would be so cool if we can take the guillotine that we have for uh, our regular paper cutter and make this decal trimmer. And they looked at it. They looked at the technology behind it and they're like, man, that would be cool. But it's just something that you can't do in today's world. You know, that the vintage trimmers were hand ground blades and all of that. There's no way we can go into production with an item like this. And I said, well, it would be cool if you could. So just kind of keep this idea, show it to your engineers and just kind of think about it for a while. So uh, a shout out to the engineers at Tonic and uh, Richard, who really led this up and kind of communicated throughout the entire thing, because this product has come to market. Now we launched this at Creativation because we thought that this would be available, but then of course with COVID, it delayed everything. And so we decided to wait until it was actually in stores before we did the launch and that there was enough product. So it did start shipping. It was in stores, I think, uh, starting Thursday this week. So it is available now worldwide. The cool thing about the decal trimmer is it is a trimmer that cuts a deckled edge. That's what it is. And if you're not familiar with what a deckled edge is, I'm going to open this up just to kind of show you the blades. You see that blade right here? You see this? It's a jaggedy edge. And so what made this so challenging is because if you've been a paper crafter for years, you probably remember like deckel scissors. I had many pairs where you're like, oh, I'm cutting a deckled edge or you had a deckel ruler that you tore against. Um, but I wanted something that would cut kind of a very haphazard, very random deckel. I did not want to repeat. That's one thing I didn't want because that's what the scissors always give. You know, you'd cut that little edge and you'd cut that little edge. I wanted it completely random from top to bottom. And that's what they've been able to achieve. And what's crazy about this, there you go, this is going to be a better angle, is look at that. We had to create, and by we, I mean them, had to create these cutting blades, these steel blades that would meet up on that random edge. You see that? So it's almost like a puzzle. And that was the technological engineering challenge is how do you get this to always match up and not only match up, but actually cut, not just rip the paper, but cut the paper in a deckled edge. And that is uh, what's available, which is cool. So I'm just going to show you real quick how it works. It's, it works just like every other trimmer, but when you use it, you want to remember to let the decal do the thing. Now, we say that it's an authentic torn edge trimmer because I wanted the blades to be ground, but I didn't want them to be razor sharp because at the end of the day, I still wanted the decal to appear somewhat tattered, okay? And I think that they, they really did me proud. So this is mixed media heavy stock. We talked about weights before. So you can kind of hear it, right? You can hear it when you, when you open it, like it, it means business. And the great thing, of course, is you can still do all of your card cuts if you wanted to do your card fronts where everything uh, was deckle. You have that same index finger thumb hold and you're just gonna take this and you're gonna make your cut all the way down. Now, when you make the cut, you have to use a little force, but again, do not pull this into the cutter. So many people, when they cut, they try to pull this handle into the blade, and that's not what you're supposed to do. Just push down, let the cutter do the work, all right? And this is what we end up with. Look at that. Look at that edge, that wonderful, wonderful edge with all sorts of different, look at that, I'll hold it even closer, little bumps and grooves. And if you want this to be a little bit more tattered, you can take your fingernail or I like to just take it across the, the edge of the glass media mat and that gives it a little bit more of a fright. Now, the interesting thing about this, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. This is the new Kraft Heavy Stock. This is a 130 pound card, which is pretty amazing that it'll cut right through 130 pound, no problem. Look at that. So we know, like if you tried to, to tear that, that edge that you're gonna, you know, that's the thing about a card, especially watercolor. If you do that and you go, oh, hey, I, don't, I wanna have this straight edge and then you go to tear it and you tear into your stamped image, so frustrating. Um, another thing you can do after you cut it is you can go in with like a water brush or a wet brush and you can paint this edge and you can get those little frays. I don't recommend trying to cut wet paper, meaning if you try to wet this first and then cut it, you're not gonna get a cut. It's just gonna, the cutter's gonna wanna fold the paper down 
because at the end of the day, these are still blades. Like these are both very sharp, just like a regular guillotine. It's all about the technology. That is the whole thing about it. But the cool thing about this trimmer, actually I'm gonna do watercolor paper next, right? This is distressed watercolor cardstock. And we'll cut this one in half, okay? The cool thing I like about the deckle trimmer is I'm gonna just move this over. I'm gonna cut this deckled edge, okay? And then I'm gonna bring this in just, just a little bit, okay? It's probably about an eighth of an inch. And this is what I wanna show you. Shut up, right? So you would think, oh wait, that's not gonna cut. Just the same detail that the regular tonic guillotine cuts, that precision, the deckle does the same thing. And this is watercolor cardstock, right? So the ability to go in and cut watercolor paper thin, that is the beauty of this deckle trimmer. It's not just taking paper and just shredding it away. It is designed to cut a very authentic deckle edge. Now, what I like to do, I'm going to show you here, and I'm sure the people at Tonic are probably like, Tim, please don't show this. But I like to go in and cut this, and sometimes I'll even just go up and down on the blade just to try to get a little bit of a chew. <laughs> you guys see that? They're probably right now cringing. But I dig that, right? I love that little, that little chew in there. So if you happen, and I'll even show you the table. See that little kind of card shrapnel? So if you want something a little bit more tattered, you can definitely go a couple of times, a couple of passes. Now, another cool thing about this is let's say you like this middle part. Because I, like I mentioned, the deckle edge is, is random down the blade. But let's say you like this. Remember, you can still use the gridded feature of this trimmer to put your cardstock down and you could cut from the middle of this as well, right? You don't always have to cut directly from the top or directly from the bottom, okay? Uh, will your distress paper tool work on top of that edge? Absolutely, the distress tool is just a razor so you can go and shred that up even more. I would have to say that if you're going to do that, uh, you may wanna try it first because you may see that you don't need to necessarily deckle if you're gonna use the distress trimmer. So again, I'm gonna go in here, uh, I'm gonna cut that and I'm just gonna go, over that just a couple of times. See, I like it. You kind of get what you get, but I love those little those little bits. Anyway, that is what I'm so excited. It's finally here. I've had it in the studio. I've worked with it, but I really just didn't want to uh, frustrate people by showing it when it wasn't available. You can use it for a lot of things. You can use it for cards, of course. You can use it for photos. You can use it on tags. You know, if you do any kind of you know, decorative tag and you just want to tatter the bottom. Remember the cool thing about the trimmer is I can go right up to the edge of that tag. I don't have to sacrifice half of it or even an inch of it. And I can just cut off just the very edge of that tag and see, it's just, it has just a cool authenticity to it. So I'm really, really excited about having that. It's just good. Yeah.